The Colombian government, the United Nations and the representatives from a rebel group FARC have discussed a resettlement plans for the guerrillas following the signing of a peace deal. As CCTV's Michelle Becker reports, the move is a critical moment in the peace process between the administration and the leftist group. A helicopter from the Colombian Armed Forces took delegates from the United Nations, Colombian government and FARC rebel group to the Colombian rural town of Villavicencio. This is their first visit to one of the nearly two dozen designated areas across Colombia, where guerrilla members of the leftist rebel group will surrender their weapons. We have to look at the geographical features to see if they correspond or not, to ensure that the size complies so that the United Nations can start the three-party verification process. In June, the Colombian government and FARC announced they had finished negotiating the terms for a bilateral ceasefire. The rebels agreed to lay down their weapons within a week of the signing of a final peace deal and to a full disarmament 180 days after that. Under the agreement, the guerrilla group will demobilize into 23 temporary transition zones and eight campsites. The ceasefire will start when a final deal is reached, but for all intents and purposes, both sides have stopped fighting. What we have said is that while the agreement is not in force, undoubtedly it would not be possible to start the relocation process. While negotiators work on the details of an official agreement in Havana, Colombia is preparing the precise location of the temporary zones. The Red Cross is part of the International Observer Committee, but Colombian officials say logistical consultations with locals are just as important. The groups were divided into two. The first one met with the community leaders to explain the scope of this visit, and the second composed of officers of the public force, FARC-EP, commanders of different areas, engineers, surveyors, logistic and communications experts, to review the places where the zones will be located. The visits to the transition sites will continue in the coming days and a report will be compiled to be presented at the end of next week to the United Nations Security Council. The UN is responsible for sending observers to monitor the disarmament. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Colombia.